Right boys and girls, I'm going to uh, let you into a little secret of mine. Um, it's like mass baiting with uh, the particle approach and the little ledges I use uh, in with the mix. Now, uh, the mix is based on the old red band, but I'm making it in such um, massive hits like you could buy it in a frenz frenzied mixed particle from Dynamite, but it's no good me ordering 50 30 to 50 blooming jars a week to do this when I'm actually pre-baiting areas. What I mean by that is it's massive baiting right yeah on the cheap side right yeah and you can just like zap the area up one big hit then keep tweaking and tweaking and tweaking and in the end they just hit it. Um, I'll run you through some of the products I'm putting in this right now. Right here's this stuff it's called Red Band. It's a 25 kilo sack. I use about one of these a week. Um, I've got an account with the pet shop and I always make sure I have, uh, when I need it, especially this time of the year in the spring, that there's four there a month for me. That basically, right, yeah, if you're going to do it in a big hit, you need to be like buying it um, in a sack, not not really in jars, it just costs too much bloomin' money, but if you're just using a little bit for spod mix and stuff, you can like use the dynamite. So, uh, with me, I'm using it in a massive sack, and here's my witch's cauldron. Now this baby holds about 20, 22 kilos dry in one go. I'll talk more about that later. Now, little tweaks I put in here, is um, in about 20 kilos I use a tub of um, dynamite frenzied hemp there's a little secret behind there the rock salt I'll probably get my hands cut off for saying that um, I like to add all sorts of bits and pieces and colors at the moment I'm not using tigers or chopped tigers but um, I normally put in 20 kilos half a jar of dynamite's mace tin of uh, straight sweet corn, a tin of strawberry sweet corn and a uh, tin of scopex sweet corn right here's my cauldron now the salt you can see it's on the top there's a jar of hemp in there and there's the particles you should always when you're preparing particles soak them for at least overnight preferably 24 hours why I like to put in the salt now is purely as the, the particles are expanding, they suck in the salt. Why I use salt is it's the hardest thing for a carp to source, which is sodium. Um, so I'm giving them in a hit where they haven't got to find, find it like through like natural areas in clay or snail shells, etc, etc. I'm giving them like, well, I'm basically, with a hit of bait like this, I'm giving them their, their very own salt bath. Um, now dealing with this sort of like quantity of mix, you need a proper blooming cooker. Now my old mate Gary Pure, he uh, give me this uh, tar burner. It roars like a jet engine. It's the it'll get that lot boiling oh, in about 15 minutes max. Once it's boiled, um, I like to just like it, simmer it for about five minutes, and then I just put the lid on top, like so. Um, when you pick this baby up, you've got to be careful when. Uh, you pick it up, you don't want to do your backing, but you can do sort of like three massive sort of buckets in one go like this. All right, get the corn in. So there you've got all different sorts of colours and sizes. Get this baby in, really does uh, rock for you. It's one of the best kept secrets used correctly. This is the first time I've spoken about it. I don't write about it, it's a one-off. But this baby catches me loads of carp. Oh, and just before I forget, it's getting amazing. Like I said, I put about half a jar of that in there. And that's the cauldron, all sorted. Now, I've got a like, I need to stir it, I've got a nice tool here. It's called an awl. <laughs> but it does the job, just get it in there and give it a good old mix up. Just like homebrew. Right, I'm going to let that soak overnight and cook it up sometime tomorrow. 
um, and I'll show you the burner. Here's Aurora. tomorrow once this is cooled off it'll set really like a bit jelly and uh, the old salts and sugars naturally come out more of the, the sugars because I've already got the salts it added salt in here so then all I've got to do is bucket it up tomorrow happy days right here's that lovely stuff I boiled up the other day um, this is what I like to fish over like clearing areas it's really cheap you can see here we've got the corn yellow that's dynamite corn and then dynamite strawberry red corn here and we've got all sorts of bits and pieces here so you know you imagine what a handful of that is to a handful of boily it's a lot more like food items there and it's really cheap you know for like clearing the areas get fish like on your bait baited area as well you can fish what you want over them as well. You can mix in tigers, maize, like corn, boilies, hull, crushed, etc. etc. 